Franklin Marvel is a local artist, graphic designer, and social activist. A native of San Tomé, Venezuela, his exuberant art is informed and inspired by both his homeland and his community here in Massachusetts. Franklin has started a movement with a message and spoke to the local scene about how the tragedy of the Boston bombing motivated him to use his art to create a message of hope. The More Life is Okay movement sounds like something. <laughs> So, I mean, like, everything started a few years ago um, after the, the Boston bombing, bombing. And a year after of that tragedy, I went with my whole family and they closed the finish line so you can walk. And when I was walking through the street, I was like, you, I was, we were feeling that, I would say, sad, sadness. And we will, we will revive, revive everything. I mean, during that moment, and I was like, wow, it feels, it feels really bad. And while we were walking, we were like, okay, I mean, I mean, we knew that this is not a good thing. And we were thinking on the positive side. So what can we do to make it better? What can we do to, to, to avoid this to happen again, right? And I was like, this is not okay. And crime is not okay, violence is not okay. And I was like, more love is okay. More hearts are okay. And everything started from there. And in that moment, I went to, to my studio at night. And I was like, you know what? I wanna, I wanna do something for the city, I wanna. And then I, I took one of my paintings, I paint hearts. And I was, you know what? I want to make something. I want to, I want to put it on some somewhere. And on a, and then I went to Newberry Street. There is at the end of the Newberry Street. There is a, a wall that everybody, I mean, post like posters, events, poster, and a lot of things. And I was, you know what? I'm gonna put a, a heart that it was framed on a gold frame, and to make it like to preserve it. I mean, when you, when you love something and you care for, for somebody or for something, you, you preserve it, you take care of it. And, and I went and I created the, I put one of my gold frames. I took a photograph of the gold frame and then uh, a painting, I put it together and I make, I create a sticker and I put it on one of the doors there and, and I stayed there for two years without saying anything. I mean, it was there, it was my signature, but it was there. And, and the city, every, every few months, they go and clean the whole wall, and, but the heart was there. They've repainted everything around, but the heart was there. I was like, wow. That's... So that's the, the, the way you see that, that it gives you a feedback right away, that more hearts, more love, more kindness, more, more positive things are, are good. And there is a heart, it's not just a heart, it's a heart, it goes around twice to make sure that in, everybody is incorporated. It's that simple, it represents community. That's why you see those, those two circles around. But it basically goes like this. It goes around one, two, and then close. And by doing that, we are incorporating everybody. We are, it's a heart that is inclusive. Right now I'm working with the, one of the middle school in Weymouth and we are creating a painting and it's being painted by a total of, I would say, 150 students. So every student has stopped at the painting for a little, for maybe five or seven minutes, and they paint something. And so far we are in the 50% of the process. Tomorrow we're gonna finish it. So, and, and, the f and then you see that it's not just our students, it's everybody painting, all the students, doesn't matter if you like painting or not, you are doing something, you are, you are giving something, and you are being part of this. And the school is gonna preserve the painting. And I mean, it, it gives you a lot, a, a lot. So even for the students, they, I mean, they're gonna feel that they belong there.
Franklin's commitment to using art to build community and raise social consciousness travels across continents, from collaborative projects in Massachusetts to his native Venezuela, a country which has endured great suffering. What was first is the question. Me being an artist or being socially conscious? That's, I will say that I was an artist and that I was exposed to a lot of situations and cities and people. I mean, San Tomé, Valle de la Pascua, eh, Caracas, Puerto La Cruz. And then we moved to, I, we moved to the United States and we, we went to Miami for seven years. And then we came here to Massachusetts. And sad, but because we are away from Venezuela and everything related with going out of your place, and, but like I say, I always I have to look for the positive. And um, being still connected with Venezuela, and the bad situation in Venezuela is bad, bad, bad because of the government. And I have, I mean, I always am an activist. I have to speak. If you want me to tell you exactly what is happening in Venezuela, I'm gonna say it. At first, I was afraid to say, to mention something, but we have to speak up. We have to speak up. And that's why I have this heart that is a Venezuela libre, freedom for Venezuela. And like I say, by thinking positively, Venezuela is in a bad situation, but I, was, I went to Venezuela a year and a half, something like that, two years ago, and I saw it. And I was like, okay, what are the things that I can do to make this better? I know this bad, I know it's bad. So I need to do something, and then I create I, talk, I was talking with my sister and I was like, my sister worked with kids in Venezuela. I was like, let's bring our classes to kids in Venezuela. Kids that doesn't have any, any type of resources. And, and, and I have one of the posters that I use. I went to Venezuela and I created a workshop for them for three days. It was amazing. So as soon as we finished the workshop, we were like, okay, how can we make this to to continue and and it was hard to get the money to do that and but we did it we wrote classes for six almost six seven months our classes for 50 kids unbelievable they were going to bed on friday night dreaming about saturday morning and saturday afternoon for the classes they were like amazing so i'm working on it to bring it this year too at the root of Franklin's artistic expression is always the heart, his own, the one he puts on canvas, or the heartfelt spirit animating his subject. When I see an instrument that is a heart, I see a heart in there. And the, and the heart is the people playing the instrument and the people that made the instrument. The heart has four, it's gonna be hard to pronounce this, ventricles, ventricles. And, and I have a sketch of a heart with where I play with the four parts. I use the fingers because the cuatro, it means that we have four strings. We as an artist, we try things. And because I've, I've been experimenting the music in my head now, I was like motivated to try something, trying to paint life while somebody's playing. There is something around that, that is beautiful and only you can find that when you perform live. And, and I like it. If there is anybody out there that wants to be to, to paint live, just reach out. And if there is a stage, we'll do it. <laughs> Franklin says, the goal of more love is okay is for people to read a simple positive message with the hope of creating a more loving future. To contact Franklin or learn more about where to see his work, visit franklinmarvel.com.